All right, here's the promised 2022 fall go fast camper walkthrough. The 2021 hybrid Ford Explore, uh, Ford F-150 that I used to explore around. And then I built all this into the back without having to put a single hole or bolt into the steel. Actually aluminum because it's an F-150. So it's all aluminum, no rust. But I'm gonna be trading it in on a lightning. So I didn't want to put any holes into it. So what I got, got my cooler right here. It's um, something. It's not, you know, a big name brand. It starts with an R. It's on Amazon. You can find it with an R. More important, it runs off the Jackery 500, which when I'm running or if I'm in generator mode is plugged in to the truck, which then keeps it uh, nice and charged up. And then if I want to just be sitting somewhere for two or three days, I don't have to run the truck at all. That Jackery 500 will charge my devices and power the freezer, not freezer, uh, cooler. It's a refrigerator down to, I usually keep it about 34 degrees. Um, it'll power that for a few days along with recharging my devices. When it's cool like this, if it's hotter, of course, it uses more electricity. The Go Fast Camper, I got uh, this May or March. Maybe April, somewhere in there. Out in Bozeman, where they're made. It's an all-American made product. You know, American materials. And super tough, high quality. Yeah, I use it through rain. Haven't had any snow yet, but I've had plenty of nights where it's done nothing but rain on me. We'll go back to the bed in a minute. So in here, I've got all my gourmet uh, camp food because everybody on YouTube cooks gourmet meals. You can see what mine is here. Chili, chunky stew. Oh, I got turkey as well as beef stew. See that, I'm a gourmet. And new for uh, 2022, although I haven't used too much of it yet, only one can of corn so far, vegetables come with me on my trips because I'm a gourmet. I also have gourp and pancake mix and coffee filters and coffee and stuff I bought in Quebec. Those things are so good. They're called brioche, but it's not just like a brioche French toast or something in America. It's a really good pastry with like eggy filling and parts of it. Probably not good for you. Super good. I limit myself to one every couple days, but I gotta eat them before too long because otherwise I'll go bad. Underneath there is a box of recovery gear and there's more recovery gear actually under the seat. There's my monopod, doubles as a walking stick. You can see, it gets up there fairly high. You can see it on the door there. I was using it as a monopod today, taking pictures of waterfalls. Kind of helps a little bit. And then in here, you know, I can't always be in the truck. So mini Fred, the T-Rex from Jurassic Park guards the truck. It also keeps me company. Helps me know whether to go straight or left or right. You know, he just, he nods kind of, depending on how bumpy it is. Gotta have a friend. And for the non-natives among you, right there is my basic automobile insurance. Right down there is the comprehensive package. I'm covered. Hoo -ya! Hoo -hoo! 
So back to the bed. Got my orange lights on because they look cooler than the fluorescent, but uh, they're all LED. I actually use the orange more because it's just not as bright and glaring and it doesn't attract bugs. Um, you can see I've got two different sleeping bags. The green one goes down to probably 10. It's rated for zero. And I've been pretty warm in it when it's only been about 30 degrees out. So it'd probably go down that another 10 or 20 degrees. Underneath it, the top box is my kitchen box. It has pots and pans and spatulas and mixing spoons and things like that. Underneath it is my fire box. It's got Coleman canisters for the Coleman stove. Then I got two boxes of miscellaneous parts for the go fast camper for you know if I have a lock fail or one of these um, these things that make the, the door go up struts if one of those fails I can replace it then um, I've got a, a folding table right there under the pillows I've got a big pillow and I bought at Walmart because I forgot mine at home again and a couple of small pillows that Barbara made for me, which are extra special. Got some more pots and pans and stuff. And usually back in there, there's a couple of other little boxes. Uh, most especially my candle lanterns are under those pillows. Got a whole box full of them. I don't really start fires. Uh, most of the places anymore are worried about forest fires. And it's just extra hassle. I'd have to split kindling. Maybe I'd cut a finger off or cut my boot or something. And instead, I can enjoy the little bit of firelight with my four candle lanterns that I've accumulated over the years. And it's enough for me to see and you know make my dinner and just relax for a little while, drinking some coffee or hot chocolate. But a little bit more of a look at the nuts and bolts here. So back against the uh, the back the front end of the bed there, you can see the plywood, and that slot in it is the high tech gauge for my water tank. There's an 18 gallon water tank behind it, and I'm gonna focus in on it. You can actually see the gauge; it's almost full. That's high tech there. 100% sensitive and specific in medical terms. And down in there, I can't see it too much. There, I actually have a shut off valve if I want to use it. So I can shut off the water. It's actually one valve back of what you see there, though. Um, it's just a little short piece of hose that connects to the shut off valve. And inside there, you can just barely see it is my 12 volt uh, water pump and that's how I have running water behind that is the toilet uh, septic treatment TST for my plumbing system right there the fancy on YouTube call it a cassette toilet I just call it a porta potty and Right here is my gray water. So all my, uh, like brushing my teeth spit and my dish soap water, you know, washing dishes water goes in there. Sit on the ground where it's not good for animals and soil and stuff like that. You know, because then animals try and dig it up and make little holes and it's just not good for stuff. Of course, I got a little bit of something to keep things clean. I got my bottle of water uh, soap spray for making sure that my Coleman connections are good and secure. Got my buddy heater right there. Everything goes, you know, off of the uh, shelf in front of it when I'm using it to warm up the truck, the camper. And this is a uh, 
Geoco or something like that. Uh, Australian setup. And what it does is, of course, you know, attaches back to the water pump. It actually, it's a Julka. That's what it is, Julka. I'll try and put a link in there if I remember. Uh, what it does gives me running water. And I actually uh, just have the 12 volt pump wired into a cigarette lighter and that goes into the Jackery. Actually, I have a smaller Jackery I use for that usually. And um, the cigarette lighter, the 12 volt uh, connection on the Jackery has a switch. So when I want it to pump, I just turn the switch on. When I don't want it to pump, turn it off. Disconnect it when I'm not using it. And then I don't have something hardwired that's going to like run the battery of the truck down. <laughs> Maybe when I get the the next truck, I might hardwire the pump, but I may not because I don't want to have to worry about it, you know, shorting out or running the dang truck down, you know, a mouse chewing on it or something. Um, and there is my various hoses for filling the water tank. The water tank gets filled right here. That's what the hoses go in and it vents right through there. And you can hear it kind of come gurgling up if you get it too full, so then you stop. Very high tech, works better than a gauge. And um, yeah, that's basically the 2022 F-150 hybrid go fast camper for August setup. Oh, almost, not quite though. Um, <laughs> there's my high-tech insulation. It sticks good on the spongy side, doesn't stick good on this side. Now, you can buy this fancy uh, foam, probably from North Face or Kelty, for, I don't know, you know 99 bucks for a square foot. Or you can do like I did and just get it on Amazon as a home gym floor padding stuff for about 10 bucks to two square yards. So this right here is my shower awning and it pops out into a square with shower curtains and I can take a shower there if I bring the hot water heater, which I haven't brought yet because it would just make things a little bit too crowded. But in the next version of this, the electric F-150 that I'm getting, which has a frunk, a front trunk, then the hot water heater will go up front. And I haven't decided about the refrigerator yet. Because sometimes at night I like to get something out and eat just back there, like when it's raining. And that way I don't have to haul stuff back and forth. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Down here isn't really anything. It's the awning that uh, you've probably seen in one of my other videos from God's Lake earlier uh, this fall on my... Uh, my trial run and it was wet when I put it away a couple days ago so instead of folding it up in the bag all wet and getting mildewy I just kind of threw it in loose and every so often I turn it over and let it dry out a little more and it's dry now and uh, had to do kind of the same with the go fast temp there leave it up for a little while and put it down again like right before I went to bed last night. Well, this is gonna get boring hearing about wet stuff. And this is what I came for. God's paintbrush in the forest. Fall. A little bit harder to see as the sun goes down. 
where I am now is New Brunswick, north of Maine, oh, probably 30 miles, I guess. This will be my last night in Canada. And uh, looking forward to being back in America where there's more places to just do dispersed camping, which there's hardly any of in Canada. Uh, they like everybody to be nice and neat and orderly and camp in campgrounds and stuff in the pro provincial parks. The Crown Land uh, apparently has some dispersed camping, but you can't really count on it. Any time you do it, a Mountie might wake you up and tell you to move along. In the name of the crown, I guess. And that's okay. That's all right. I mean, it's a little different than we're used to, where I can camp in dispersed camping all year long, but uh, that's all right. Everybody has a different way of being. So, sayonara, peace out, go away.